Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing this look inspired by Rydell Lynch from R5. I saw them like two or three weeks ago in concert and Rydell's makeup was so pretty and her makeup's pretty all the time. But I really loved this look because I hadn't really done anything like it and I knew that the new Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette was coming out and I really, really wanted to do this look using this palette. Um, and I'm so impressed with this palette. The blendability of these eyeshadows is just, oh my god. Especially when you're working with, like, matte dark shadows. It can sometimes be a hit or miss with blendability. Is that even a word? I don't know. But I love it so much. Um, I will obviously have everything linked down below that I used in this video. And as I'm going through doing the voiceover, I will tell you guys, you know, what brushes I'm using, how I'm using the eyeshadows, um, where I'm putting the eyeshadows, everything like that. And so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and let's get started. Okay, so I'm using just a skin tone shade. You can use whatever eyeshadow you like to use, but this has been kind of my go-to um, shade to just set the primer and foundation and whatever I have on my eyelid just so um, it doesn't move because my eyelids are super oily. And then I'm taking just a cool tone shade. It's the one that I'm pointing to right now um, with a crease brush, just a regular blending brush. Um, and using that as my transition shade. Obviously, you can skip this step if you feel like you don't need it, but I feel like it really helps pull the whole look together. And then I'm taking Password from the Smoky Palette on just a flat shader brush. And this is kind of the area where you kind of decide how dark you want it. Um, so I just kind of, you know, did a little bit at a time, then blended it out, and then put more on, blended it out, and kind of went from there. Um, but that is totally up to you. So now I'm taking Armor by Urban Decay in the Smoky Palette and I'm just using another flat shader brush and I'm just putting this on the middle of my eyelid and kind of blending it out into the inner corner but not too much. And this is kind of where you really want to blend and make sure that the eyeshadows blend together because if you don't you're just going to have really weird lines and it's not going to look blended. And then I'm taking a NARS Duo whatever eyeshadow it's called. I'll have a link down below, but it's just a really pretty silvery shade. And I'm just using a pencil brush to put that on my inner corner and just to brighten it up. And then I'm blending everything together again with a duo flat shader brush. And then I'm taking a pencil brush with password and putting that on my lower lash line and then kind of blending it so it gives that smoky effect. So now I'm taking my eyelash curlers and just curling my lashes um, and then I'm going to do my bottom lashes. So I put my bottom lash mascara on first and then I do my top lashes. I just think that it works better and I end up with less mascara on my eyelids so yeah. So I'm now taking just like an icy silvery eyeliner and putting that in my waterline and I do this while my bottom lash mascara is drying and then I'm going to contour using my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and my NARS uh, Eda brush. I don't know. I love it so much. Now I'm just taking 13 on that first brush that we used for the um, skin tone shade for the very first thing that we used just to highlight and then I'm taking my mascara finally to coat my lashes 
Um, you can do false lashes, but I really am not a huge fan of them, so I just stick to whatever mascara I'm loving at the moment, which is the Dior Show mascara. Oh my god, I love it so much. Now I'm taking um, Moonstone by Becca. It is my favorite uh, highlighter at the moment and just highlighting my cheekbones. And then I'm using Sex Fantasy by NARS, which is just a really pretty cool toned blush, which I love. And I'm using a Real Techniques brush. I think it's a bronzing brush. It's number 100. Um, it's a part of the Bold Metals collection and I love it so much. How many times am I gonna say that? I don't know. And then I'm just using just a lip gloss. Um, super pretty, love it. So yeah. So guys, this is the finished look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I am so happy with the way that this turned out. I had filmed it previously with a bunch of different palettes and stuff and just like different grays and silvers and just kind of trying to put it together. But I'm really glad that I waited to film this look with the Naked Smoky palette. Um, it just came out and I'm in love with it. I love it so much. I think it came out a week ago from today, which today's Friday. So you'll be seeing this tomorrow, which is Saturday, which is my dad's birthday. So happy birthday, dad. Um, and yeah, if you guys want to tweet this look or this video to Rydell, that would be amazing. I would freak out if she saw this. Um, she probably won't. But if she does, hi Rydell. Oh my god. Um, yeah, so that's the end of this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and my twitter instagram and snapchat will all be linked down below and i will see you guys later bye